subscribe, 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 subscribe. Sa Meta TV, 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 Sa Meta TV. You will open your third eye tonight. Your third eye tonight. Subscribe. To the house of consciousness. To the house of consciousness. You will open your third eye you tonight. Open your third eye oh, tonight. Subscribe oh, to the house of consciousness. To the house of consciousness. Sa meta T P. 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 Subscribe, 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 subscribe. All right, peace and black power family. Welcome to another Sign of the TV House of Consciousness production. Y'all already know what it is. Today is the little preliminary, the little back and forth with um Black Jesus and Captain Tazariak. This is not a debate. I repeat, this will not be the debate. We want to see if this can lead up to a debate like we did with the other nut that came over here. That nigga so mad at me. That nigga made like four videos already. Captain, that shit is crazy. These niggas are nuts, boy. That <laughs> made four videos of me, cat. For real? Yeah, that nigga's a fucking nut bag. <laughs> that nigga that lost his mind. That's your fault. That's your fault. Yeah, I told you you ain't making these cats his famous. fucking mind, boy. I love mm. it, though. I love it. Yeah, man. So, um, mm -hmm. yo, what's going on with you, though, man? I mean, I'm incident to a goddamn storm yesterday. <laughs> When I clicked on Clubhouse, I see Judah Naz. He drunk as a doorknob. Right, that nigga right, is going right. crazy. He in there, and they got you. It's like I, I thought I had to come save you, brother. They had you Look, on the hot seat up in there, bro. Listen, I'm going to tell you something, man. You know, the title of that room was Captain Tazariak is making the Israelites look bad. That was the title of the room. Right. And so I didn't see the room at first. And so a sister messaged me like they got this room. So when I saw the title... I thought it had to do with like the past, you know, couple of weeks, people having issues with the whole whack thing. So I thought that's what it was. So I go in the room and there's nothing but Israelites on the stage. I go up on the stage and so I immediately asked them, how am I making Israelites look bad? And the first thing they brought up was Abba Bivens, who's one of the founding fathers of I Should Be Cast. I said, but that ain't me. How am I making them look bad? Then I find out there's Judah Naz in the room and Judah Naz come off mic. And he got mad at me because I said, lick two shots to the writer. That's from um, Smith & Wesson's song. So he was like, I'm going to tell you why you're making the Israelites look bad. He said, you ain't debate the Torah Knights. You didn't debate the Torah Knights. I said, so this is about a debate. Once he said it was about a debate, I knew all it was. That on Clubhouse, and I'm pretty sure on, on YouTube, they probably call it the same thing. It, it became a clout chasing thing. It became a thing where we got Tzoyak in the room. So now we all just going to bombard him with questions, challenges, X, Y, Z, like that. And so they started off saying that I make the Israelites look bad. And then Judah Naz went from being an enemy to start telling me I'm a superstar. He said, nah, Tazariak, he's a superstar. He's 6'5", he muscular, he be in the gym, he Damn. big. That's what he said. And I'm like, as he's saying that, I'm saying pause. I'm saying pause. The sister saying Damn. pause. Everybody saying pause. Because <laughs> I'm bro. tripping. Like, why did? Why would he say that? Why I've he never looking said at it. Your body, bro. Man, that's shit at crazy. You, man. That's shit crazy for him to be looking at my body. I'm sorry for a grown man to say you big and muscular and shit like that. Mm -hmm. and, and he said he was a fan. So that took place all day. And then what, the other tripping part was when Quinnath, Naftali, and Marvel coming. Uh, well, Marvel was already on the stage. 
But when Naftali and them come in there, Naftali was hell bent on wanting me to debate her. First, she tried to say I was disrespectful to her when I didn't think um, at the time me saying she was pseudo was disrespectful, but I could see how she took it that way. So I apologize. So then she's on this whole, why don't you debate me? Why don't you debate me? And I'm telling her we don't debate women. And you would think that, okay, y'all don't debate women. I'm going to go find somebody else to debate. But they was hell bent on trying to convince me or Katiza to debate women. And I just couldn't understand it. And then my man could not bless his Christian heart. He still ain't came up with a debate. Now, you know, for the record, for those that don't know, Katiza will be debating FOPE on that 12 tribe chart. Mm -hmm. But now Quina is not doing that debate. Now, remember the stipulation I gave. I said the, the initial stipulation I gave was that me and Quina debate first and Katiza and whoever they have debate the 12 tribe chart. So now the challenge is still out there to Quina to debate a topic. He just ain't came up with a you know topic. He want to talk about. He want to de debate. Are you the seed through your father or something like that? That's not going to be a good enough debate. And then last, I don't know if you want me to talk about what what we talked about last night. You want me to let him know what we're working on, Sa? Sa? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Then last night, Sa calls me and he's like, uh. I got somebody else for you. And uh, it was my man Shaka on the phone. Mm -hmm. So Shaka, the real Shaka. I, the first thing when the Shaka got on the phone, I told Shaka, I said, Sinetta had some cat named Shaka on last week that did a disservice to your name. Even I would say that. He did a disservice to your name. So we laughing about that. So Shaka and myself are actually trying to come up with a good subject to actually uh, debate on. So we can get a good topic. The topic that I proposed was um, y'all let me know in the chat and y'all can let me know in Clubhouse. Here's the topic that I proposed potentially. The topic that I proposed was whose ancient writings can fix the black community? Whose records are stronger? I can only use the Bible. Shaka can only use comedic records, coffin text, etc. That's yeah. a good topic right there. Yeah. Yeah, so now we want to say whose records is stronger. So now if Shaka is willing to agree to that title, we can work on doing that. So and then uh, April, uh, March 11th, uh, we got uh, myself versus Chris Harris. That topic, um, and y'all need to be putting that link up in the chat. That topic is is the biblical story of Jesus copied from ancient Kemet. So I think though that's a good topic as well. I definitely stuck with the term biblical story of Jesus, because now that eliminates you bringing any Christian mumbo jumbo to me. So you can't bring um, things that Christian Christians teach. You got to come from the Bible. So we'll see how it goes. Also, while I got the time, I got a new, as y'all, they, this is the other thing. They get mad at me when I uh, promote my body oils, my body butters, X, Y, Z, like that, as if I'm not supposed to promote my business. That's another weird thing. So I got some new bottles for the sisters. If y'all looking at the screen, let me make sure I do this right. If y'all looking at the screen, I got pink and red bottles for the women. Um, I got some new scents too. So soft for women, unfuckwittable for women. And then I got blue bottles for men. So these are the new... They said my mic is loud. Last time they was complaining about my mic. Um, I got blue bottles for the men. And my new scent for the men, this one is called In Deep. <laughs> now, if y'all can't get in deep, I don't know what to tell y'all with that, but this might help y'all get up in there. You talking so, about in deep. Well, let me first say this, pause before we get <laughs> before we get in deep. But I know um Chris Harris, he gonna get deep up in your motherfucking history. <laughs> Yeah, you say I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you said it that way. Sa, you, know sa, you said it the right way. Up in the sa, you brother. said it the right way. That's you said right. it the right way. <laughs> I got Chris Harris on the line. Hey, what's up, Chris? <laughs> what up, what up? So you ready for this debate, man? Yeah, I think I, I think I'm ready for it. I think I think it's a good I, good subject we was able to work out. I think I'm ready. What about yeah, you? I, you ready? Hey, 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 let me say this real quick, Chris. You know I asked Chris last night, Captain Cesaria. <laughs> Mm. I said, will you be taking everything out on Captain Tazariak for Pastor Bennett and everything? So you might <laughs> you might be the man, um, Captain. I think this is probably the wrong time 
for you to step in the ring with Chris because all that shit is coming down on your shoulders now, brother. That's it? That's all you got? That's all I got. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'm gonna oh, tell y'all a quick story. I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story, right? Like, so I never yeah. said that I got a brother in the world. My brother in the world, he like six eight. I'm six five. He's six eight. And so my brother came to that debate with polite, the, the very first one that we had in Brooklyn. And I remember when the debate was over, my brother tells me he said, "You know, I only came for the shit. Like, if some shit popped off, he in the world, he not like an Israelite. He don't follow my belief. But he was like, I came in here just in case some shit popped off. And he said, I'm gonna tell you something. When I seen polite first round, he said, I was, I was, I was worried about you, Ty. Like, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he, you, huh? he was like, I ain't know what you was gonna do. He said, but you came out there and you handled it. So that's how it sound like." With, with you saying that about Chris, like Chris gonna take all that stuff out, it, it made me think about that story, man. But yeah, I'm ready, man. Uh, um, yeah, I think I'm ready for it. Uh, what about what you was gonna say, yeah. Chris? Yeah, yeah, I think I wanna, I want, I want this to shape up to be one of the better debates where everybody will come and um, watch it for like some years down the line. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, usually. I'm always like Cap is one of those like top debaters on the channel, one of the mainstays, and I'm just becoming a mainstay over here. But yo, Cap, I got a, I got something for you. I'm gonna do something special for this debate, right? I remember they did this at the Kemet on trial debate, right? All right, so check it out. If I lose this debate to you, mm. I will I will wear a ISUPK outfit for the whole week. Damn. While I'm on Sidenet of TV, that's Woo! how often I'm in. Now look, I ain't talking about no T-shirt. I'm talking about an entire. <laughs> hey, send your measurements in. Hey, hey Chris. Chris, say, say, hey, hey, send me your measurements now. Just text them to me. <laughs> okay, get them so, so I can get the shit. So I can get it. So I can get it made for you. So you can be ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Hey, hey, yo, 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 and I will do, I will do it. I will come on here and do a Bible lesson showing everybody that the, that, that the white man is the devil. I will learn the ISUPK doctrine and I will even wear a pair of sunglasses. Wear a pair of sunglasses here's, like here's, that. We're doing on that corner. <laughs> here's what you're going to do. Oh, you ain't even got to get a garment. Just wear all black for the whole week. Cause that's what troop was wearing. Oh no 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 no! I want the garment. I want that. I want that. Uh, that spike them spike gloves that y'all be wearing. <laughs> and I want the glasses, and I'm good. That's it. I ain't wearing nothing else. Hey, yo, I ain't wearing nothing else. Hey, Chris, the... I got I got Captain losing two of these debates, but he always proved me wrong. I I think I got him now. I I got him nah. losing the debate with you, and I got him yeah. losing the debate with Shaka Upmost. I got him losing two. <laughs> Now he might win all of us other ones, but I got him losing two of these debates. One with you and one with Shaka up most. Hey, did you hear the right, subject, so, subjects for the one with Shaka, Chris? Who you what you which are debating? But well, this it ain't locked in. The, the subject that I uh sent over that I'm waiting to see is is titled What Ancient Writings Can Fix the Black Community? Whose records are stronger? I can only use the Bible, oh. Shaka can only use comedic records, coffin text, etc. Like that, so that's the subject of the debate. But you know I mean? we've seen, but we've seen that's like that's empirically that the come, come on. But we've seen it, uh, that might that one might be a little tough to, to shock on this one because we've seen empirically what the Christian Church has done for the Black community. As but we've also seen. Are hey, you went out, Chris? I don't know if it's me. So, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We him. Go ahead. Oh, Chris. No, I can't hear Chris. We him now. Okay. What I'm saying is empirically, we know what the Christian church um, has done for the black community, which a lot of things have been positive. And we've also seen uh, some of the things that uh, we've been raising recently, which have been negative towards the uh, black community. But I mean, right. either way, empirically, I mean, it depends on how the argument is approached. I mean, we have to be honest, though, when you're dealing with the Egyptian writings, just for debate sake, we're not talking about for spiritual sense, but mm -hmm. the Egyptian writings are just used for that. Those, mm -hmm. A lot of those writings are 
were for those kings. You know what I'm saying? Like the coffin tax, pyramid tax, et cetera. It was for those kings. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really for the masses to absorb like that. So it should be a good debate. It would depend on his logos and his pathos on how he puts it out there. But I, yeah. I think it should be a good debate because both of you guys are standing on your text. Right. Uh, which be done now? Are you keeping it exclusive to the coffin text, the pyramid text, and the, well, uh, and the laws of my Yeah, yeah. Long as it's like I would have to stay. What I'm proposing is I would have to stay within my biblical narrative. So I don't even intend to bash Kemet. I'm just showing how if we go according to what the Bible says, we can do this, and then he would do the same thing. Whatever. So long as it's mm. an Egyptian long as it's an Egyptian record, you know what I mean? Like, you can't mix, like, uh, the Kushite or Nubian records with that's not Egyptian. It would have to come from okay. Kemet directly. That That's what I'm proposing. You know, this would be a good one. I ain't heard from Shaka almost in a while. But, see, I thought yeah. you were just debating Black Jesus Minister, Kanaf, I think, like, two other guys. And I was like, all right, well, he's going to win them for it easy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said he'll win them for easy. I said, but this one, right? Like, see, that's why he's taking me first, y'all. He's taking me first because he said, let me go and get this L out the way real quick. And then I'm going to go get my four dubs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go get my four dubs real quick to redeem well, actually, myself I'm, I'm real like, quick. I'm like three I'm going to just tell y'all, y'all all better have y'all fun. Because when Polite touched down, man. Polite, well, Polite got to get past that trial first. He Polite going to be that. hungry, bro. I'm telling you he, now. I talk get with past, him. He got to get past that trial first. Right, right. He feels so, so confident. And I'm telling you, yo, that motherfucker hungry. So, Well, I'm going to well, make yeah. this declaration on your channel. If he come out of that trial shaky, we still shouldn't rock with him. He can't come out that trial what shaky. What you mean when you say shaky? Meaning like if he's innocent, uh, then he's innocent. But if it's on some old, it's not sure. I don't know. I would just have to, you know, I think we all probably going to follow the trial. I pray the brother didn't do it. I the pray. trial starts, I think, on the 20th, May. if I'm not mistaken. I think it, no, I think it got pushed to May. Oh, I shit. Think. Yeah. So I think okay. um, I think we got to make sure that um, that everything is right with that, you know, no shaky business. Because it's, it's, a, it's a messed up story. No matter how you look at it, if polite is innocent, then it becomes the mother and the daughter concocted it. And so the, the victim is the daughter. I think that the victim is the daughter. Unless the, the daughter had for some reason do it, the true victim would be the daughter in this case. Because if Polite is innocent, that means either the mother lied because she was jealous or the daughter lied for whatever reason. But if Polite did it, then we can't bring him back to the community. I mean, he right, ain't going right, to be able to come back. Not. You know we what I'm saying? That. So that's what I'm saying. But, but I, here's I, I, the again, thing, though, I, I hope, Captain. Uh-huh. Well, you know what? what if, oh, go ahead. On. What if polite is innocent on all charges? That's what I said. I, I hold said, on, I hold on. Uh -huh. Are you willing to come out and apologize, brother? That's the Ooh, question. I ain't, say no Are these I ain't niggas no charge against them. willing to come out and apologize? What am I apologizing for? Because everybody, they already condemned him. A lot of people no, condemned no, no, him no, already. No. What I, all all I can say. He was guilty. Okay, all I can say is based on the evidence so far, it don't look good. They claim they got semen and stuff like that. My position is only we got to wait to the trial over. The only thing I don't do is absolve someone and make them innocent just cause. So I'm not saying polite is innocent or guilty, but I'm saying if he's found either or, we can't deal with him. So I ain't got nothing to apologize for because I ain't came out there and said he was anything. Apostle, hit the link, man. All right, hey Chris, peace, hey, brother. Thank you. Hey, real quick. All right, wait, wait, wait. Well, let me say something. Let me weigh in on what he just said, real quick. I don't think that's fair that we uh, say he's guilty or not, and I think we should let the courts and let the law system um, do that's its own right. thing. Um, no, right. no prosecuting team, and it's not against you, Cap, but no prosecuting team will come out with evidence like that talking about semen. There hasn't been any confirmation on that, um, any been confirmation that came from that court about any of that, and I don't think that's fair on that brother. And we see uh, brothers in court um, get real all the time. So let's right. just let the let's just mm -hmm. see the let's just let the legal system work itself out because um if he was guilty, I'm pretty sure with the no child left behind laws, he would already be locked up. And I'm not saying whether he's guilty or not, but we don't know, honestly. And let's just let this thing play itself out and let the facts present themselves. And you should know that cat. You you're an Israelite. You gotta let the uh court uh, the law work themselves yeah, out. A, yeah, oh no, exactly no, I'm with you. I'm with oh, you. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't want to get into the gossip.
Peace. All right, peace. All right. Um, I just need um Apostle. Apostle, hit the link. Yo, I gotta tell you, you know what this dude Apostle said to me, Captain? Mm -hmm. I called the Apostle and I asked him, I said, damn, brother, I feel sorry for you because of the way your Israelites have behaved, are behaving <coughs> on Clubhouse and on YouTube. <laughs> they have moved down into the beef sector now. They talk right. about ass and penises and girls Who doing this, that? cursing out women on a channel, F U B <laughs> and F U this and you know what Apostle got the nerve to say to me, brother? What do you say? What do you say? Here you go, right here. He said that it is all my fault, Apostle. Yo, can you believe that? The no, Apostle said fault. it was all my fault. He said it was because of me that the Israelites are doing all of this stuff now. And so we're going no, to hear would, from the horse's mouth. Yes, uh, Apostle, I want you to say what you said so I don't misinterpretate what you said. Go ahead, brother. You blame me. You blaming me for the fall of the Israelites. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> yeah, don't laugh now, nigga. No, nigga, I'm not blaming you for the fall. You just did blame me, brother. Hey, calm down, Negro. What All I'm right. blaming you is because your channel is the channel that's perpetrating it. You can't wait to bring the next person on to talk against this brother. Seem like everywhere I turn, I don't right. hear this shit except for on your channel. So now, look, I'm not even blaming you because I know what you're doing. You got the right to beef up your channel just like the brother got the right to sell his products and to advertise. I'm saying I'm not taking part in this shit. It looks like... But I ain't never seen... But Apostle, I, so that ain't never brought nobody on here to bash me right, personally. Right, that's what I'm saying. What the fuck you talking about? I'm not talking... Doctrinally, to yeah, but personally, no. Right. I'm not talking personally. Oh, I'm, okay. No, I'm sorry. not talking personally, brother. So what I'm, are you talking about? So why are you saying it's my fault? I'm saying there's other things we can be dealing with other than every No, uh-uh. Stop. I said, know. why are you saying it's my fault? I didn't say it was your fault, so I never you did say I it, brother. Said you are the one that's created. That's right. Created, that listen, you are the one that's perpetrating this thing on your channel, right. keeping it build up, keeping it going, bringing in the mouth, the praise all and worship all in all, as if nobody else exists except for the goat. He praising himself. With all that garbage coming out, I of his still mouth. don't know what you're talking about, brother. Okay, you okay. losing me. Let me make it because clear. you blaming me for Judah Nazareth and all of them. That's Let what we were talking about. Let and you clear. said you blame me for them. You blame me for clear. Rob Rack going once to jail. Clear. You blame me for all of this, brother. Once again, you called me blaming me for the way they're acting. I said I have nothing to do with the way these people are acting. So how can you blame me? What and I, I'm the only Israelite you're not hearing from. What I said was, why you don't separate you now because you was with them for I the past five years, nigga. I'm, listen, I'm you was with them for the past five I'm years. And so now you see how raggly these niggas are. <laughs> how dirty these niggas. You this see that these niggas are dirty just show. like a regular nigga. This is why I stopped coming on your show. You never allow me to speak. You always interrupt in my sound bites. And you do it for a reason, so I know, to keep oh. the narrative going. Now shut oh, the hell so up and let me speak. Let them talk, so he oh, said you I'm ain't not coming back on here. Damn. All right, I'm, go I'm ahead. speak to what I'm saying. Now you call speak. me up. Now you just beat me. You 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 told me to come on the show. And since I've been on here, you've been you ain't let me complete one sentence, man. Not one. Now, once again, I don't have to defend Israel. I don't have to. I don't have to defend Yahuwah and these Negroes and what they're doing. You don't think I heard Judah yesterday? You don't think I heard Sister Marvel? I could have called up because I agree with what she said, but I wasn't going to add to the chaos. I don't need to. Why do y'all need me? Of all these people, I'm the oldest of all of y'all. All I'm I want to ask you, Apostle, I'm, is that you blame me, and now I, you're going somewhere you. else. I blamed you as much as you blame me. You called me 
saying I'm responsible for how these guys are acting. No, I did but, not. Yes, you did. I called you and said, I, I feel said, sorry for you, bro. No, Remember? But don't feel sorry And for I me. said, because of the way your Hebrews are Brother, acting. Once That's when me. you said you blamed me for that. You blamed no, me for all but, of it. Uh, right. I blame you because you are the one perpetuating it. Oh, you man. are the one that's keeping this shit going. You are the one that encouraging this shit to keep continue. Like this what? Shit, what am I listen, encouraging to keep going? What? Listen, I called you before you knew anything about Tazariak's interview with Ye. I called no, you. No, stop for one minute, Apostle. I want to deal with step by step. I'm dealing you with said, step by Hold on, hold right on, hold on. You said, I'm the one that's keeping this shit going. What listen, shit bro, are you talking about? Let's deal with that. The chaos. What, what do you number mean? Number one, number one, the disagreement that started with Wack and with Tazaria. So you blame me for that? No, I'm, I'm. How can you be blamed for something? Dude, that make yourself clear because you're blaming me for something, brother. And so I'm asking you, what the you fuck are you blaming are, me for? You are feeding the negative. <clears throat> you are allowing your show for publicity. For hype to bring more viewers into the chaos, to bring more money into your pockets. I'm gonna be frank. That's what it is. Listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not just that, man. You just got over a big ass failure. You don't want me. It's to don't make want a you, man. Make a make your goddamn money, however you can. So I how and why are you blaming me for the listen, black one hundred in the Tesoriac situation, brother? Listen, bro, you just got over I'm rolling a with Captain Tesoriac. You just got over a complete failure. I'm working with Captain. T I'm with Captain Tesoriac on that. Why I'm, are you blaming me though? Listen, now you're trying to pit me against Captain by saying now I'm against Captain. No, I'm not. Listen, I, I understand you see me as your god, brother. I understand that. Because you're giving me all that fucking power over all you Hebrew niggas. Mm -hmm. All you Hebrew nigga nuts. you giving me the power. When you're saying that I'm more powerful than your God. You said that I am make, I'm responsible for the Hebrew Israelites. You see how you twist shit? No. You said I'm responsible for the Hebrew Israelites. No, no. I'm saying you're responsible for the chaos. And I'm making it plain. You're keeping this chaos. You are building on the chaos. Damn. This man. chaos is helping Captain Cesariac, do you hear what he's saying? He's blaming me, Captain, for I'm you and Wack 100, you. bro. You're utilizing it. I'm not blaming you. And I said I wasn't going to be a part of it. That's why for the last three, four, five weeks. I didn't know I was muted. Heard. Apostle, Apostle, uh, one thing I'll give Sarnetta credit for, the only thing Sarnetta participated in was uh, interviewing Wack and then him coming on Clubhouse. When it came to the issue that me and Wack had, um, the only thing he did was allow me to just clear the air, which I asked him to. He didn't ask me to. I asked him to. I don't see how it's. I don't see how he um, goes along with that narrative. Okay. Even for, okay. even further even further yesterday, it was the Israelites that created a room <clears throat> to get me in the room to clout chase me. That had nothing to do with Sinetta. Oh, and true. then the the heavy the funny part about that was when I went in the room. They was complaining about me saying I made Israelites look bad for going on Sinetta's channel. And then when Sinetta comes in the room, they turned into stands, just like they were stands of mine. Right. So I don't think, I don't know if what you're saying makes sense, but we do got Black Jesus in here now. So, Sai, I don't know if you want to get, you know, get yeah. to it. Let's get to it. All the right, business. go ahead and close out, Apostle, and then uh, we're going to get with Black yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Hope, just give me five minutes, man. Go ahead, go ahead man. That's a long ass time. That's a long five, time, brother. Five minutes is a long time. Oh, give Hell me yeah. Fuck, you get two. Minutes. All right, go ahead. You get, there you go. Two yeah, minutes. Two minutes, go ahead. Uh, I called Sarnetta before he heard about your interview with Ye, and I, I praise Yah for putting you in a position to do that. I reached out to you, man, but you didn't take my call. I left you a couple of, couple of messages. You never returned the call. I said, okay, fuck, you don't want to talk to me. But I still praise y'all for allowing you to be in that position. And that was a unique position for Hebrew. And I honored that and I blessed that. I called Sarnetta because he didn't know nothing about it. And I told Sarnetta, did he see it? 
And then I pointed Sarnetta out where to find it. So after he found it, that's when he called you. And then this shit switched up because niggas got jealous. Niggas got jealous of how Yahweh used you. And that's all I was speaking to. After that, when I saw the turn this shit was taking, I said, all right, apostle, you got no more to say about it because you're not going to. I'm friends with Kwanath. I'm friends with these guys. And I'm not going to take an opinion one way or the other about it. I don't think it's right. The way they treated apostle, I mean, the way they treated Tazariak, I don't think it's right. Right, wrong, or indifferent. We need to air these things out among ourselves. Uh, so I left the whole thing alone. I heard Judah yesterday. And he doing his thing praising Torah Knights. Ain't nobody thinking about Judah or Torah Knights or his fuck shit or his crazy shit. No more than I'm thinking about Rob or even Black Jesus yelling that he's the GOAT. Well, Black Jesus is the GOAT. Yeah, you know, well, I think you're jealous of that. And that's man. fine. I got one GOAT in my life. <laughs> you the GOAT or what? Yeah. All right. Hey, let me go. Now, hey, Black, is my goat. Apostle, thank you, my brother. <coughs> Peace. All right. Damn, I'm up. You yeah, know? might get you some halls or something, sir. Yeah, I know. Some, I know. Drink I know. some. All right, peace out. Peace out, Apostle. Peace, we brother, trying Apostle. to get yeah, Peace, brother. Take it easy, man. Let's get the other square up in here, right. Black Jesus Ministry. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Once again, <laughs> Captain Tazariot, we bringing in the GOAT. All right, peace and black power family. Welcome to another sound of the TV House of Consciousness Deduction. I am your host, and you know we got the weigh in going down with Elder Yara and Black Jesus Minister, who claims to be the GOAT. So that is the question Is Black Jesus Minister the GOAT? Um, what do you feel? Why do you think that you are the GOAT amongst all these great men? And Hebrew Israelites that you've been facing, that you've been battling, what makes you feel that you're the GOAT? Shouldn't the people give you that title instead of you self-proclaiming that title? I have been bringing correction to the Israelite community from day one, 10 years ago. And let me show my brother Zion Lex something. And let me show y'all right something real quick. Let me show y'all some, some hardware real quick. See, this is the goal right here. Why you sitting up here, uh, 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 you know, second guessing how great black Jesus Mr. is in Christ, in Christ. Don't let me make you all think that I'm puffing myself up. That's why I named myself black Jesus minister. That the true Christ Messiah would be exalted every time you say my name. Brothers and sisters, what do we have here, brothers and sisters? Y'all see this? That's huh? the son of the studios, or what? Yes, sir. That's the son of the studios. Yes, sir. Tempest. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this is my, this is the hardware, uh, uh, brother, uh, 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 uh Zion Lex. You ain't got this. You've been here 10 years before me. You ain't got this, bro. Okay? And Yon Rod's over there licking his chops, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right now. Because everybody wants this. This is what everybody wants. This oh. is the goddamn gold, goddammit. You hear me? It's a beast in this motherfucker. You can feel the energy. And your boy, Black Jesus Minister, the bishop, goddammit. Then been there and done that, God damn it! I do consider this brother to be the GOAT. I do consider this brother to be the GOAT. I do consider this brother to be the GOAT. I do consider this brother to be the GOAT. I would say he is the GOAT when it comes to the Bible and the Israelites. He's been beating up Israelites for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I am the goddamn GOAT. The undisputed GOAT. Can't nobody come over here and say that I have not held this title for five years straight. Five years straight! No, that came from me, y'all. I sent right. that to the brother. Right. Yeah, that's, that's from me. Right you can there. see my name on it right there. Right. What are you talking about? That's right. in my logo. All right. All right, um, so there it is. Let me let the Black Jesus Minister close this thing out. I saved the best for last. You are the goat up in this mother. You are the GOAT. I saved the best for last. 
You all the goat up in this mother? You all the goat. I saved the best for last. You all the goat up in this mother? You all the goat. So let's see if you use your goat status and close this thing out right, brother. All right, man. Oh, man. Yo, let me ask you, Black Jesus Minister. In being the goat to the Hebrew Israelite doctrine and um, the apostle doctrine and all these guys that's coming up now, do you feel some sense of hatred coming from these guys? It's like you got a target on your back now. And apostle, I mean, he he was he willing to shoot you with the twelve gauge, brother. So he just bought some new firearms, brother. How did you feel about this shit? He bought new firearms. Uh, well, in actuality and in all truth, it's black Jesus minister who has been on the attack, running people down, chasing people down, even clout chasing, as Brother Tazariak loves to say. Because, yes, Tazariak, you were well known before I was. Brother Polite was well known before I was. Yes, indeed, brother. OK. And I had to clout chase Brother Polite like I've chased everybody as a ecclesiastes three christian brother running people down kicking their ass running people down kicking their ass bro for 10 years bro ain't nothing new okay but now brother tazariak i am the goddamn clout i am the goddamn goat brother undisputed bro okay and so uh and i came by way of defeating polite and many other brothers and sisters of all persuasions of all religious persuasions spiritual persuasions for over 10 years brother tazaria and before you knew me as the bishop before you knew me as the goat brother tazaria in 2018 i came to your platform on cross the effing line radio three to four times introduce myself to you and white Jesus chapters I and challenge of both of you brothers to a debate in 2018 three or four times brother and it's recorded it's recorded bro okay and each time you guys muted and booted me off the show and refused my debate challenge bro and then I came over here to Sarnetta to your platform, your platform, dear brother, and became the debate champion by defeating the deck, the champion of the decade in six months, bro. In six months, I became the champion of the platform that you were on for 10 years, bro. Okay. And so, dear brother, and to Sarnetta, People being coming after me is not a problem because I'm always after them first, bro. I'm always on the offense, bro. Doesn't bother me one bit. Go ahead, brother. Son hey, Bla hey, Black right, Jesus. Right. You got your Black Jesus ministry, hey, I'm a, right? Hey, hey, hold up, Captain. Oh, I'm is sorry, it all right man. if I go make me some tea and let y'all two gentlemen work this thing out? Y'all think I can do that without me, man? Yeah. I ain't gonna come yeah, back definitely. and hear no damn cat fight screaming and cursing each other. No, you only gonna only person gonna lose their mind is Black Jesus. That's it. <laughs> All right, bro. hold All right, me down. Right. Do it right, man. Come I got on, you. Man. So right. Black Jesus, you the goat, right? Uh, you heard it, bro. You saw it, didn't you? All right, no sweat. And then you got your Black Ministry, Black Jesus Ministries organization, right? Uh yes, I do, bro. How many members you got? Uh, brother, my ministry is a internet ministry, brother. I don't have members and beg and cajole and deceive people into paying tithes and offers, bro. So in like 10 you years, are, bro, so, uh, brother, so, okay, brother, let me finish my, can you let me finish my question though? If we could just I, not be too long winded, you I, see I, how quick I, I was with talking it. for barely 40, 30 seconds, bro. That's all I did. So let's go well, back before and that, forth. you was talking like five I, minutes brother, straight. Can we go back and forth? I'm not going to be long. Yes. That, yes, yes. I, I know. I, I'm not going to be long. You cut me oh. off after 30 or 40 seconds, bro. Okay. So my point to you is, brother, my ministry is an internet ministry, dear brother, okay? And that was my objective 10 years ago. And brother, thanks to Sarnetta, my ministry and my brand and my name is known all over the world. I have fans all over the world, thanks to the HOK, brother. People so now with the- Okay, brother, I'm almost done. People who love me, 
people who follow me and people who support me taking over the global Hebrew Israelite movement. So in your 10 years that you got this internet ministries, what what does it produce? What has it done? Besides, right, besides because it sounds because it sounds like all you do is talk about yourself. You self-proclaimed goat that uh, apparently Sarnetta agrees to. Your internet fan base, because you got fans. Mm -hmm. But I believe Christ said you shall know them by their fruit. So what fruit can you produce to represent the success of Black Jesus Ministries? Uh, brother, the trophy that you saw in the video produced that there, brother. The friendships that I have made, the being accepted by many of the Israelite community and is and, and non one West Israelite camp members and camp leaders, brothers, brothers and sisters. And I'm not just talking about Israelites. I'm talking about people who are Muslims. I have a an elder who is a Muslim and who supports me and loves me and supports me because what? And Israelites who support me because of what? Comedics who, who support me because of what? Pan-Africans who support me because of what? And Christians who support me because of what? Because they support my ministry and my teaching and doctrine of unity, bringing the three Abrahamic faiths together and destroying all false doctrine from all persuasion including one West ISUPK doctrine that teaches us self-hatred and division. So when you talk about destroying something, first of all, that's not fruit. A trophy, when Christ said, you shall know them by their fruit, he was not talking about a damn trophy. That's a selfish award because that's all about you. Prime example, when I was offered or, or told to come to the Sardinetta Awards, I declined it. Why? Because it's not about a trophy. If we boast, we boast in the most high. That's what the scriptures say. So even when you talk about your fruit, your fruit is really fruitless. So now you say you destroy the one West. Last I checked, ISUBK is still here. So if you're destroying us, why is ISUBK still standing? Uh, brother, again, okay, hold on, brother. Again, brother, and I'm going to ask you some questions because this is not going to be a one way. No, no, no. Hey, just so you know, Black G, before, before you go, wait, before you go. You, I'm only asking questions because you haven't asked any. This is oh, not okay. a me. You understand? You, yeah, so uh, you can go back and forth. I, I, gotcha. well, I'm going to answer this question, and then I'm going right. to ask you Come a on with it. You do whatever okay. you want. Yeah. All right. Now, brother, I'd have to be a damn fool to sit up here and think that, uh, 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 you know, uh, some, some, some crystal glass uh, as a trophy is the fruit of my labor, bro. <clears throat> the fruit of my labor, brother, that's a symbol of the fruit of my labor, my, my labor. You mean to tell me that the NFL uh, championship trophy, brother, that we just saw the Super Bowl trophy means nothing, bro? Really, bro? You don't believe that, do you, Tazariak? I think you're just jealous, Tazariak. Let's tell it like it is, bro. You being no. here, tit, brother, I'm responding to you, brother. All I said was no. Oh, okay. That's no. fine, brother, but you interrupting, though. I didn't interrupt you. So, brother, I'm saying to you there, brother, you're jealous, and you know goddamn well you will never meet the status that I have reached, brother. And you and Sarnetta, your brother, will never call you the GOAT. It is etched in stone and for history for all eternity, dear brother, that a Christian, brother, who you all love to denigrate and talk about all damn day, a Christian came over here to your platform, brother, and supplanted you and had you on the run for not three years to Zariac, five years to Zariac, five years, starting all the way back to 2018. Do you deny that? That's my first question, sir. Do you deny that I didn't, that I came to your platform during 2018 and challenged you and Chapter Side to debate me, brother? Um, that possibly could be true because yeah, I yeah, do yeah, remember yeah. you, I do remember you calling into the show, but that's just so long ago. <clears throat> the fact that you bringing up, um, a comparison between you and I, right. Shows how like the, the Bible in second Thessalonians, the Lord said he would send strong delusion that they would actually believe a lie. And as I'm reading, going over that scripture, it reminds me of you. And I'll tell you why. 
Like if you was to make it a person to person, and the scripture I'm talking about is Second Thessalonians two and eleven. It said, "And for this cause, God shall send them strong illusion, that they should believe a lie." And that's definitely you, because even if you just take the past five years, there is no comparison between you and I, none whatsoever. The reason why Styles Peace, there's this uh, rap song Reservoir Dogs Jay Z got on it on uh uh in vol in my lifetime volume two or three, I believe. And there's a song, Reservoir Dogs, with the locks. Styles P got the hardest verse on there. And in that verse, he says, I don't give a fuck who you are, so fuck who you are. I don't care about your pretty bitch. Watch your car. I don't care about your block and whoever you shot. I don't care about your album whenever it drop. I don't care about your past. If I did, I would ask. He says, I'm 10 steps ahead of niggas shooting backwards just for practice. That's how I look at you. You're somebody that I shoot like my guns is right there so like you're somebody that I shoot backwards just for practice so in that five year span as I'm going higher up and when I'm saying going higher up doing the work of the most high going higher up you still chasing me if you were this far ahead shouldn't I be chasing you you shouldn't be ch you listen if you if you sold this person or this man you shouldn't have a reason to even think about me it's like oh man i got this trophy i'm the goat i'm the champion they should be lining up i'm shutting this down i'm shutting that down but you can't because all you do is clout chase me that's all you do so you don't have no fruit all you got is a damn trophy from 2018 or 19, whenever we're in 2023, brother, you haven't done nothing. You ain't got no growth. Black me, Black Jesus Ministries is a one man show on your couch. That's all it is. You would. I remember, matter of fact, since we asked the yes or no questions, when I used to come to Houston, did I not tell you to come to Houston and come to my school? Uh, it's my yes. turn to ask questions, sir. No, this is a simple yes or no. no, no, no I'm gonna no, finish. No, 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 it's my turn to ask questions. Can I? Okay, but when you answer, wait, wait. Uh, brother, if, if all you can do, brother, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, brother, okay. Hold on, Black brother, Jesus. Do okay, it, brother. Yes. He's gonna answer his right. question, and then we're gonna yeah, 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 so that right. And I'm a year. I'm a year. I'm a year. The right to you. Kind of missing, so that he asked maybe like five questions. No, no, he's right. No, 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 he cool. So he cool. So he cool. Yeah. I'm just, I'm a, I'm yeah, a year yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Brother, yes, you did invite me over to. Right. Uh, so now I invited you like three yeah. or four times to come to the school, but you too scared to come outside. How my man Mo3 said, they scared to come outside. <laughs> That's your ass. All right. All right, Black outside. Jesus. Before you go, <laughs> right, let me now, say now, this, now, Captain. Now, okay, now, let me, let Hold me on, Black Jesus. I'm the, I'm the moderator. On. Relax. I'm going to let I you go. I got you, brother, but you left I'm, it up to us, bro. Let's I'm going to let, I'm back now. I got you, brother. All right, so um, Captain Cesario, but, but both you of you got to let. Hold on, hold on, Sonetta. What you got to understand is, I have you. You you interrupted me in the process of asking him five questions. So I could have been finished can, already if you just be quiet. Asking my questions. If you just be quiet, I would have been uh, finished. Thank you, brother. Okay, brother. Okay, brother. All, All right, right, so um, Sonetta. Captain Tazariak. All right. You yes. you and Black Jesus Minister have yeah. some um notches on your belt. You beat a lot of people. Black Jesus minister went through El Diara. He went through um, Neftali. Black Jesus beat one of our best of the best, Brother Polite. And Black Jesus beat somebody else. Who was that you beat up on, Black Jesus? Jabari. No, you ain't beat Jabari. Oh, I'm going stop it, bro. No, I got you ain't beat Jabari. Stop, now you crazy. Stop playing, bro. You ain't beat no Jabari. <laughs> hold, hold on, oh, oh, I got it. Hold you beat, hold on. Hold on. Stop, stop. You right. beat Apostle. That's stop who you beat. Okay, you beat a possum. Me, and I'm so, you therefore, you are the GOAT in that. And um, I do no longer carry the belt because, you you know, if you forfeited it, you gave it up. So, no, anyway. No, I, I haven't given up nothing, bro. Now, so, you tell him he's taking credit for beating a woman? So, he's taking credit for beating a woman? A win is a win, brother. Hey, you got the mic. Hold on, bro. I was supposed to ask five questions. You done took over nine. You sitting up here. That's not my fault, Black Jesus. That's not my fault. I'm not blamed. I didn't say your name, uh, Tazari Yak. Calm down, bro. Now, uh, since uh, since uh, uh, let me let me live with uh, uh, Tazari Yak's little weak ass, you know, question and 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 point. Now, Tazari Yak, brother, the reason why I never showed up to your camp and your uh, well, y'all was having some kind of 
Celebrate it wasn't no event. event. It was just a school. No, no, no. Okay. I was. Okay. I, I used to travel okay. to Houston that's a fine. lot. That's I used to fine. travel to Houston a lot. It was just okay. coming to that's the fine, school. Brother. That's fine. Listen to me good, brother. I am an educated man, an intelligent man, and I didn't want to hurt your feelings, bro, to tell you what I'm about to tell you, but because you're sitting over here running your mouth, I'm going to have to hurt your feelings right now, bro. The real and what the reason why I have chosen not to be seen with you, bro. No, no name calling. Bro. No, I'm not, not no name calling. No, he could do whatever he no, wants. No, no, he I'm could not, do and no, say no whatever he wants, bro. It's no name. But I'm calling, saying bro. you could do whatever you bro, want, but like, I don't care bro, what you say. So can I finish talking, bro? First of all, let me say this real quick. I've told you this before, and I've and I'll say it again, brother. I like you, brother, and I'm not talking in any kind of. Uh, 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 yeah, you said you would kiss me. Brother, Remember, he brother, said he would kiss oh, me, Sadnetta? Lord, brother, Remember, he brother. said he would grab you by the oh, beard? Lord, gay ass bro. nigga. Okay, <laughs> gay bro. ass nigga. Hey, you got let him talk, Captain. You got let him talk. Oh, my bad, my bad. I'm going to mute my mic. I'm going to mute my mic. I'm going to mute my mic. You did say you leaning and kiss me. Let him talk, Captain. Come on, man. Can you be quiet, scrub ass nigga? Because, see, you're the clout chaser right now. You're the clout chaser. I'm the goddamn clout, bro. I'm the bishop. I'm the goat of all times, the greatest of all times. You will never be that. Mm. Why? Because I chased you and you ran for five years, bro. Damn. Five. Count them, brother. One, two, three, four, five. Goddamn, Cap. Shame on you. Shame on your leaders who made you weak and cowardly. Everybody has witnessed you even on this platform with Sarnetta begging you, almost on his knees, begging you to the baby. Oh, well, black Jesus minister, he got to apologize to me. He got to apologize <laughs> to my brother, white Jesus. He Jesus. right, he right, stop. Captain, he right. Oh, stop it, man. He right. Stop playing. You only playing with the dumb niggas, bro. Okay? <laughs> Stop it, bro. Now you are cloud chasing me. You asking uh, me for a debate. Woo! What the shit. hell? I didn't ask your little scrubby ass for a debate. I got tired of asking your big scrubby ass for a debate, nigga. Okay? And I told everybody on this platform multiple times, even Sarnetta, multiple times, I said, Sarnetta, I don't want to debate to Zaria. I'm tired of chasing that big, scary-ass nigga. I didn't came to your platform, became the champion of your platform, brother. Then, and, then, and then I stepped down off of my high horse to give you a chance to shine, nigga, to debate me, and you ran for four more years, nigga, starting in 2019, when I became the champion of your debate platform. That you have never won a championship on this platform in 10 years, and I did it in six months. Goddamn. You are the goddamn clout chaser, bro. You asked me. You're begging me for a debate, sir, and I got the text to prove it. Don't play with me, bro. I'm the one in charge. You ain't in charge of a goddamn thing, bro. But your little dumbass followers and your dumbass men that you are the captain of because I said that I own you. I own all of ISUPK, General Johanna, General Mahiman, and everybody who's up under you. I own you niggas. One man army. You right about that. I'm a goddamn one man army, bro. Because I believe in the word of my God. That my God says that one can put a thousand to flight. And Are we going to put a time a limit on this? Brother? Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm just. I'm almost done. Okay. And God, and that, and that two can put ten thousand to flight, Tazariak. Now here's my question to you, Tazariak. Now Tazariak, my name is George LeBlanc, bro, and I live in Houston, Texas, and I'm a 55 year old man. You can Google me up, brother, and my name is on my Facebook page. And this handsome brother over here to the left of your screen in the, in the top left, his name is Frank Gary, Living's, and he lives in New York, and I believe son that is 60 now. Brother, I don't even know who the hell you are. 
Now, brother, the last time I checked that if you are a man of God, that means that you must be transparent and righteous. So I'm going to ask you and try to get to know you for the first time hiding behind your little made up ass name, bro. Who the hell are you? What is your birth legal name, brother Tazaria? Introduce yourself to us for the first time there, brother. Go right ahead. That's my question. All right, before I do the question, right, that's why I got you. I wanted you to admit that I've invited you to come to my school in Houston every time I was there, at least three times, which you admitted to. So when you try to say this whole running, you ran from an in-person conversation just so you can hide behind in that funky ass couch with that same old red hat that you got. That's the first thing. Second thing, you keep talking um about, uh, I guess, uh, winning and I haven't won nothing or you're the clout and you got text messages to prove it. You, the text messages in my phone is from your initial contact with me after I called you out because all you do is talk about ISUPK. I think it was just like four weeks ago you was on a live stream talking about ISUPK again. I don't talk about people that are beneath me. So if you really felt we was beneath you, why would you talk about us? I don't talk about you. I want to punch a lot of people in the face, spiritually. I'm talking about doctrinally. <laughs> so that's what all this is about. It started last week with your boy Ghetto Prez that you admitted I beat him. So after I did Ghetto Prez, I said, I'm going to go on a triathlon of beating everybody that's been talking shit. You're one of them. So you're one of the ones that's going to get his ass whipped if you get in the ring with me. So I did Ghetto Prez. Then I did Shaka. Then I did Albie. This week, it's your turn. That's all it is. And after I punch you in the mouth, you'll go right back to chasing my tail again. Cap, I want a round two. I want to do this. That wasn't like this. This scripture said this. I guarantee you when this shit is over, I'm not going to talk about you no more. But you'll never stop talking about me. That's your obsession. You'll never stop talking about Commander Jenny Hanna. You'll never stop talking about my school. As far as my name, anybody can go to my business page and see my name. My name is not hidden. If you go to my website or if you place an order, it's going to have my name. I'm the owner of the business. So if you want my name, you can go there. It's not hidden at all. But my born name. Just like Peter, just like Simon, my born name is Tazar Yahweh. That is my name because that's the name when I came in and was born again through Yahweh Shammashiach and the Most High. That is my name. I didn't take Christ's name and make it a form of self praise like you did. Earlier, you said, I took the name Black Jesus. Every time y'all say that name, you venerating him. But really, it's about venerating yourself. Why would you take the name Black Jesus unless you wanted self-praise? I'll take the name that was given to me, which is Tazar Yak, which means stronghold or castle. That's why I could stand here strong and I'm unmovable. As powerful as you think you are, you're really fucking weak. That's why you keep talking about me. I don't talk about y'all. Until I want to come outside. And the minute I call Sadna up, I call Sadna a Sa. I'm ready to punch all these niggas in the mouth. They keep talking shit. They keep talking shit. And let me tell you what Sinetta said. Sinetta said, the minute you tell them that you want to debate, they're going to run. And your ass ran initially. That's why I had to do the car chronicles and call your ass out. And then mm. when I called your ass out, then you send me a text. Then instead of going back and forth with the text, I call you and say, you can pick any title, any subject. Damn. And the subject you picked was regeneration, hell, and was a serpent in the garden had four legs. Three dumbass topics, but I'll take them and I'm going to beat the shit out of you. It's just that simple. Black so Jesus. Are we to Go ahead. Black yes, Jesus, um, can you get to something interesting? Because you're saying that your doctrine is better than his. Can you give us an example of what you teach and what he teach pertaining to the Bible? What do they get wrong pertaining to the Bible? Other than the 12 tribe chart, because we got a debate set up for that. So right. what is it that you teach that outshines what they teach that they got wrong? Yeah. Uh, let me uh, finish off with my last two or three questions. So that I heard you. 
Uh, now to Zara, if I could, before you go, Black Jesus, and I'm doing it right before you go, if we can kind of limit both of us, maybe because like I went long, you're going long, and so and it just becomes repetitive. I'm the question the, now. I'm not talking. No, no, right, right. So yeah, so we could keep it like two minutes, and my response won't be long either. I think right, that's fair. I'm asking the question. Right, no, my sure. question ain't gonna be long. Now, brother, I'm gonna <clears> ask you again, to Zaria. I am asking you to prove that you are a man of God as you claim to be, and that you are transparent. And you sat up here and round talk and didn't answer my question, sir. What is your mama and daddy birth name that your mama and daddy gave you, bro? We want to know who the hell you are. I don't know you, sir. I don't know who the real you is, bro. I don't want to hear nothing about your, you know, your ISUPK born again name. I want to know who, what is your birth legal name, bro? What is that? Introduce you trying to get to are you trying yeah, to have brother, a relationship? Brother, brother, introduce yourself to the people for the first time in your life. For the first time in your life, be transparent so that we can make sure that you're not a registered pedophile or sex offender, bro. I'm Captain Tazaria Gavai. She became the commander general Hannah. Unless you as a homosexual man want to know me personally, I don't know why you keep asking for my real name or what you say with my mama name me. What Christ named me and what the Most High named me and the name that I got is far more important. That man died. Biblically speaking, it says we must put off the former conversation, the old man. Don't you know the Bible? The old man, let me let me let me read this. Let me read this real fast. It says, this is Ephesians. Let me just get it real fast. Uh, this is Ephesians 4 and 22. It says, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is who you asking about. You asking about my old man, so you can't even follow what the books say. The books say, put off the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust. That's my old man. So why do I want to talk about him? He died. Verse 23, and be renewed in your spirit, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Verse 24, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. So I don't know why you so obsessed with me. It's giving me a real feminine, you know, vibe, you know, real feminine spirit. I don't know why you so obsessed with me. So my name is Tazar Yak. That's my name. That's what my father gave me. And if you want to know which father I'm talking about, I can go further. Hebrews 12. Oh, no, you can stop right there, brother. You really no, I, I, when, when you, you really call the scripture, right this is the last scripture. I'll be done with the scripture. Hebrews 12 and 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us. That's my father. And we gave them reverence. My father was Carl. We, I, get, I give him reverence to the day. My business is named after my father. It's called Carl Gas Collections. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Body bag. You got your next All question? All right, uh, brother. Oh, uh, to, uh, you, bro. uh, yeah, I got two more questions, son. Uh, okay. Now, uh, brother Thanks, Tazaria, uh, brother, um, did you not run away, run from me and my numerous requests to debate me in 2018, brother? 19. 20 21 and 22 the only thing i do know is that there was one time sinetta called me you was on the phone and if sign good look at uh sinetta called me you was on the phone that's why you smiling i'm gonna cut your ass again sinetta called me had you on the phone as we trying to work out having a debate i said you know what i'll do the debate we trying to work it out and what happened on the phone getting a big argument sinetta's a witness <laughs> And we hang up the phone. So you can't say I'm running when you couldn't even be cordial and setting up a pre-debate. Now I'm going to use somebody else as an example. My man Chris Harris was kind of the same way. When me, Sarnetta, and Chris was on the phone together, Chris was a little irate. Sarnetta hangs up the phone. I end up calling Chris without Sarnetta. Chris was a different person. We was able to work it out. And then we called Sarnetta. Did the same thing with you on Sunday. Because y'all don't know how to be professional. You don't. When it comes to setting up debates, if I'm calling you about setting up the debate, don't be in your black Jesus character. Be George, since you want to talk about George. Uh -oh. Be simple as be simple, Simon as George that's trying to come up with a subject. And then when it's time to debate, then you could go be I'm black Jesus minister, slanging and banging, bawling and calling. You funny. 
Like, you're the funny nigga. I ain't going to lie. You're the funny dude. But you can't be in character when we're trying to get the subject together. So, yes, I did try to accept it, but you wasn't professional enough in it. That's the answer uh, to your that question. Is true. You got that is true. I agree with that. I was there. Uh, now, right. what, 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 what year? You was got one more question. Hold on, hold on, I don't know what year. I don't know what year. I got one more question, what year. No, I'm I saying I don't know what year. It was last year. It was last year. It wasn't no damn last. No, I think it might have been twenty. It might have been like two years. Yeah, about two years ago. Now my point is about two years ago. Ever since then, brother, son, let has been asking you to bait me, bro. And we got you on video saying, "Boo hoo hoo, black Jesus minister is a bad man, and he hurt my feelings, and he talks about me and my brothers, and he got to apologize." Nigga. Get your big ass down somewhere, bro. Stop lying to the people, bro. Now look here, man. Come like, on, oh, man. Turn bro, it up, bro. Black Jesus. My last question. My last question. Cesaria. Mm -hmm. Can you prove and will you, with your lying ass, won't tell us who you are, will you prove and can you prove and will you prove and come on this show and let Sarnetta open up the platform and give you as much time as you want can you prove, sir, that you are an Israelite, nigga? Yeah, I prove it. I prove that already every day, every time I go teach. Um, <laughs> we teach from the biblical narrative. Those are the descendants of the slaves that were brought over here on cargo slave ships. We are the Israelites. So now that I've answered that question, we can get to. No, 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 no. You said we. I said you. Well, I, okay, you I never speak. On I, I, one one second. So on the reason why you hear me, the reason. You no, no. are an Israelite. I answered that already. The reason why I say we is because I speak collectively. Okay, but I didn't answer about no damn we. I say you, I bro. I, just, just for the record, I don't mind you interrupting me, but when I do it to you, I don't want to hear shit out your mouth. Don't start crying oh. like a girl. So now, I said, the first thing I said was, I do it all the time. I answered you. I said, when we teach that those of us that are descendants of slaves that were brought over here on cargo slave ships are the descendants of the Israelites, then I said we. But the first thing, listening is an art, simple nigga. Listening is an art. And so when the first thing I said was, I do it already. Then I put the we because I speak collectively. <laughs> now that I got your last question, let's get to sign another question. Okay, so here we go. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to say this before, and I'm happy that my slogan is beginning to go and pass and go around. You know, I don't say, let me land my plane. I say, let me park my car. I always say, listening is an art. <laughs> and so a lot of people pick that up now, and they don't want to get- You saying I got that from you? Everybody got it from I you. Because I say probably, that. You probably got it from somebody else, but I said okay. it before I even knew you, Captain. I've been saying that okay. when I was okay. with Brother Dao, when Phil Valentine, when we was filming. So the people okay. know okay, who I got been you. saying okay, I that. Saying. That's a, you probably you. got it somewhere else. But I get what you're saying. I've been right, saying I get that what you're saying. For, for damn near 20 years. Listen, because I got it like, art. yeah. Because I've like, also been I... saying, um, hating is a disease. You can see that on my DVD. You yeah, now the hating is a right disease. Yeah, I got, I got that. Hating right, is I got a that. disease. Right. So I've been saying all of that. And now my shit started to pick up and get momentum. I'm glad you run it with it, Captain. That's good. You get yeah, I've been there. saying that. I got it from uh, when they say you got to be more adept to listening than to speak. And so I yeah. just said listening is yeah, an that's art. that's cool, though. That's yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. So what I got for you, Black Jesus, being that you saying that you are the GOAT uh, and you think you know the Bible more and better than Captain Cesario, I would like for you to challenge him on the Bible, on the book. Come at him with some scriptures, brother, like he's... He's busting your ass right now. He's pulling scripture <laughs> when you call him. He's calling out scriptures and doing all this shit. So get to get to some scriptures, brother. You got the floor. over here holding his hand, trying to stroke. No, I'm not. Up. No, I'm not, brother. No, I'm not, brother. No, I'm not, brother. This is bad, bro. Now again, uh, uh brother son, I, I will use this as an example. Uh, first of all, all one with Hebrew Israelites. And all of you, brothers and sisters, every last one of you are my brothers and sisters. But including Tazariak himself and his leadership, Yohanna and, and uh, Mahayman, and the majority of your uh, of One West Israelites, you, brothers and sisters, were never raised up in the church, never raised up in the word of God. The, the overwhelming majority of you are street niggas. 
And I love my brothers from the street. I love y'all. The majority of you are convicts and ex-convicts. Have never been raised, brother, born and raised and rooted in the word of God. You're just a bunch of wild niggas. You hear me? And all of you uneducated, wild, unchurched, heathen ass niggas have come together and what and, and your leaders have what they have done is they have uh 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 what's the word I'm looking for? They have stolen a movement of God, they have hijacked a root a real and true movement of God, okay. Manipulating the people and manipulating you to Zarek, you don't. Are belong. you going to ask him a question, brother, yeah, yeah. pertaining to the Bible? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And so, and 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 <laughs> and, and 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 there's many wild and crazy doctrines that you guys come up with, and you make up stuff all along the way. And for example, and 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 not only do you make up stuff, but you adopt certain things. When you say that hell is a place on earth or a condition on earth, that ain't nothing new, bro. People who have hated the Bible to Zariac, people who denied the Bible to Zariac, are the ones who created the phrase that hell does not exist and is a condition on earth. But you uneducated street niggas and convicts and ex-convicts don't know no goddamn better. And you teach the people that hell is not a real place, but it is a condition on earth because you all don't know no better. And I'm telling you that hell is a real place. And that is one of the topics that I'm going to challenge you on if we come to an agreement, because nothing is set in stone yet. We don't even know if the people are going to pay for our debate. Because Do you I have a said, question, brother? Do you have a question? Do I have a question? Yes. Yeah. So again, to Zariac, do you agree that other people- A biblical God question, brother. Existed, biblical. Get into the Bible. Get into the yeah, Bible. I am. I am. I'm talking about hell. Do you agree to Zaria that there are other people before ISUPK ever existed that said that hell is not a real place but a condition on earth? Did you not learn that and adopt that from non Bible believers, sir? Yes or no? Hey, so I know that this is why I say that listening is an art because he didn't even hear your damn question. For him to teach his position, he has to show what his proof that hell is a place you die and go to in the Bible. All this nigga did is talk. If y'all scroll up, y'all going to see I put in the chat. He ain't going to bring nothing out of the Bible. Now, one thing, he ain't say nothing out of the Bible. Me, of course, me being intellectually superior, street superior. And when he talk about Christians, we none of us come from Christian back. Most street niggas are Christians. Most street niggas have come from the church. That's a fact. If they ain't come from the church, they came from the Muslim mosque. So that's idiotic. My fa my grandfather was a pastor. My father was in the church. My mama had me in the church. So saying I ain't got no Christian background is also idiotic. That's how I'm even further superior when I actually get the truth of the book. So, for example, when I read Deuteronomy 32 and 22, it says, for this, this is how you intellectually beat the shit. When I say I was gonna punch y'all in the face, punch y'all in the mouth, this is how you intellectually punch somebody in the mouth. Deuteronomy 32 and 22. For a fire is kindled in my anger and shall be burned to the lowest hell. This is the Lord talking. So now he's saying it shall burn to the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Talk about governments or principalities. Verse 3, 23, I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend my arrows upon them. This is going, this is punishment he's given to people that he's calling hell, which is why we say a condition. Let's go to Psalms, 2 Samuel's, I'm sorry. Let's go to Psalms, one second, I'm going to show you what David said, because David was alive and well when he made these statements. So when he says in Psalms 18 and 5, this is what David said. David said, the sorrows of hell come past me about. The snares of death prevented me. David was an alive man. But why did he say the sorrows of hell come past him about? Was he in hell when he said it? Or was the condition that he was in was that hell? So when you make these statements, I need you to tell me what that is. If I go to Jonah 2 and 2. It says, and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. 
out of the belly of hell cried I. So you telling me Jonah crying to the most high from hell that you say you can't talk to the most high from hell and then he come out of hell and then able to talk and go to the people of Nineveh? So now I guess niggas just got visiting passes to go to and from hell. They just go down to hell, then they come back from hell and say, hey, what's up, man? I want to deliver you all this message. You don't make no fucking sense. So bring your Bible verse. Listen, like I said, you're a funny nigga. You funny, you bawling, you crawling, all that bullshit. But now we in the big leagues where you have to mm. have book, chapter, and verse. Damn. All that shit you beating them. Them people that you mentioned that you beat, they don't mean shit. They don't mean nothing. So now I need your book, chapter, and verse. Floor is yours. Damn, Black. This got a man. Oh, so go. And you got to counter what brother. I said. Tell me the scriptures I said was wrong. Because uh, that's brother. what I do. Okay, brother. If you if need the scriptures you, again, brother, let brother, me know. I'll give me, bro, them to bro. you. Okay, brother. Now, brother, if I if I if if I allow you to debate me, because see, this is me giving you a leg up and giving you the privilege to debate me, nigga. You ain't in charge of nothing, brother. You don't run a goddamn thing over here at HOK, bro. I do, bro, because I'm the goddamn goat. I'm the champion, bro. Okay. And that's uh, you gonna do another twenty minute rant, no, no, man? I'm not, uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you gotta so go into I, the I, scriptures I'm, I'm on them, man. I'll finish your scripture in a second. Finish your scripture real quick. So, and I gotta, and I, I gotta respond to what you said, Sonetta, about me not defeating Jabari. Now, now, Sonetta, I'm sick and tired of you telling that damn you lie. You see what Judah Nazareth oh, said, bro, 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 Come on, Sonetta. I'm addressing you right now. All right. I am sick and tired of you making these people in the chat in the HOK family stupid and dumb as hell. Now I will I will uh, uh put five hundred dollars up. You put five hundred dollars up, and we will go over that debate. You play it here on your platform. You hear me? And I will show you and prove to you, and like you know that I defeated Jabari in that debate, especially when Jabari said yes, he agreed with the uh scholarly consensus that Jesus is historical. End of debate, bro. Okay. So you can lie to Jabari all you want to, lie to all the stupid niggas all you want to, that Jabari won that debate when Jabari has said multiple times and in that debate that he agrees with the scholarly consensus that Jesus is historical. Now back to Tazariak. Now, Brother Tazariak, uh, that is one of our potential debate titles because nothing is set in stone, okay? And, uh, and the only reason it's going to be set in stone if we agree on this money. You hear me? And we agree that this is going to be a ticketed debate. Once we work all of that out, then we will conclude what we're going to debate on. We've been talking about it. We're going to finalize everything once the money is up front, bro. Okay? Now, let me show you a scripture because I'm not going to give you no more information because I'm going to whoop your ass in that debate on that topic on hell being real because you and your leaders have lied to you and they've lied to you because you don't know no goddamn better. You are an ignorant brother. You hear me? And I'm going to educate you like a Christian, bro. Now, let me show you another issue that you all teach. And I saw you sitting down at the feet of my hymen teaching you this goddamn madness that all of you clown is like, uh, say and teach that there were other human beings besides Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were not the first. You all believe that there were other human beings besides Adam and Eve who were created besides Adam and Eve, bro. Let me show you how stupid you are. You hear me? Let me bring up uh, my screen. Should be sharing. Share my screen, Sarnetta. This is an example of how I'm going to take you and just whoop your ass, man. You hear me? Or uh, with a non related topic. Look at uh, Genesis 20, Genesis 3 and 23. You see that right there, Sarnetta? Genesis 3 and 23, you see that? Sarnetta, holler at me. Somebody holler at me. Y'all see my screen? Yeah, I see your screen. Thank you see your screen, brother. It says yeah, right here, screen. and Adam called his wife named Eve because she was the mother of all living to Zariac. Do you see the phrase right here, brother? All the living, bro. Do you see that, bro? See, I'm reminded of you sitting in that class 
sitting at the feet of my hymen with his dumb ass, teaching you that there were other human beings. I saw you in that classroom listening to that dumb nigga. All of your, both of your leaders are some dumb ass niggas. That's why they have been running from me for five years, bro. So how the stupid hell, Tazariat, are you going to continue to believe my hymen with his dumb ass and Yohanna with his big dumb ass when the word of God is telling you right here that she is the mother of all the living? Do you understand the word? Bring it out. Bring it out, Black living? Jesus. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Do you understand the word? Go all in. Now you can respond, bro. Oh, you said I could respond? Yes, sir. Oh, this yeah. hey, hey, turn your goddamn screen off. This nigga is fucking retarded. We went from talking about hell, and Sinetta's question was to show your doctrine is better than mine. And you bring up hell, and when I beat the shit out of you <laughs> and pull Deuteronomy 32, Psalms 18, Jonah 2 and 2, and show you how the Bible is saying what hell is, now this nigga run to Adam and Eve. Now this nigga talk. You you ain't black Jesus. You white Jesus. That nigga went right to money, just like them Chris. That nigga's definitely a Christian, because <laughs> nobody ain't nobody paying for this shit, man. For you for you to do this that we get for free. When you think about somebody paying for a debate, they're looking to get some type of scholarly information that makes the twenty dollars worth it. Present something that makes that twenty dollars worth it. If you can't present nothing, my Friday time slot is open all day. Friday is open all day. We can do this debate live. Now, since you want to talk about Adam and Eve, now we want to talk about Adam and Eve. He says Adam and Eve are the only people on the planet. So if I go to Genesis 4, excuse me, if I go to Genesis 4, when Cain killed his wife, Cain clearly says, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say Cain killed his wife. When Cain killed his brother, Cain's question to God was, all that's, excuse me, this is Genesis 4 and 15, and the Lord said unto him, therefore, who so, I'm sorry, 14, behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. When it talks about Eve being the mother all living, it's the same thing as Adam getting the breath of life, which I'm going to explain as soon as I finish this. So now the Lord says, Who, whosoever. Now, the Lord don't say it's only Adam and Eve. You ain't got nobody to worry about. The Lord say, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken sevenfold. And so now it says that Cain went from the presence of the Lord. That means he's leaving the presence of the Lord. He's leaving Adam. He's leaving Eve. And it says, and he dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. And then it says, and Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he built the city and called the city after the name of his son Enoch. So if it's only Adam and Eve and Cain at this time, where's he getting his wife from? I mean, where's he getting his wife from unless that's the case? Now, to show you the life that is talking about where Adam and Eve is not uh, carnal, but spiritual, when you go to Deuteronomy, hold on one second, I'm just searching it. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 19. This is what he's saying to living people. It says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. Life is the commandments. So the same breath of life or instructions that Adam was given that's what he gave to Eve. Adam is the first. Eve is the second. But they're already alive. That's why it says, choose, excuse me, I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. Therefore, choose life. They're already alive. So why is he saying choose life if they're already alive? I can go even further. If I go to the book of Baruch, chapter 4. You can't fuck with me with the Bible. Y'all be wondering why I don't entertain these guys. This should be clear, but I'm going to punch them all in the mouth so y'all can stop saying Cap be running. Cap just don't have time for peons. Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but they're alive when they're receiving the instructions. It clearly says 
all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. It's not talking about them physically coming to life or physically dying. It's talking about them spiritually coming to life and spiritually dying. Black Jesus, I need you to counter the scriptures I brought out on hell being a condition on earth and these scriptures I just brought out just now. Now, if you were HOK champion, I got the trophy and I got all this. Bring your scriptures, nigga, because we ain't, we ain't, I ain't heard a scripture yet. This, that Adam and Eve, you brought out one scripture. I don't brought out eight. Count on my scriptures and bring your scriptures. Where they at, nigga? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't turn the uh, camera off. Put the camera back on. That nigga probably got tears. He's got towels and shit. Motherfucker. You probably got towels and shit. This the real big leads, nigga. Come on. Turn the camera on, brother. Turn the camera back on, nigga. What you changing your hat? What you took your hat off? You changing your hat? You changing your outfit? You want a Hebrew garment? Captain Tazariat. What's up, sir? I always tell these dudes, be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. And so. Yeah. Come on, yeah, Black right, Jesus. Now. Turn the camera oh, on, bro. Excuse me, excuse me, brother. Excuse me, bro. And before and before you say uh, that, bro, Black I mean, Jesus, no, there's you a... be quiet, bro. You, I just want to. I just want to. I just want to highlight. You gave up no, the floor. You gave no, no. Up I just want to highlight this brother. Just it's not about you, real oh, fast. Oh Lord, bro. You I just want to highlight this one, Black brother. Jesus. Just relax. You're not even bro, live yet. I didn't say nothing. He said it was my turn. All right, but okay, you got it. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, got it. Go ahead, Captain. No, no, no. Yeah, put the camera on, nigga. That's what we wait. No, I just want the camera. We need to see your face. Let me let me teach you a lesson. Bro. Um, hold on, hold nigga, on, hold we on. want to see hold your on, face. You can't teach me hold shit. Hold on for a minute, everybody. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. I want y'all to be prepared. Tonight is going down at eight o'clock. I got Brother Garfield and the champion Neftali of FOPE is getting in the ring with Brother Garfield. And um, I tried to tell Garfield. I tried to warn him. I said, brother, do not sleep on Neftali. And so Garfield will be sparring with Neftali. This is going to be one y'all don't want to miss. I'm giving this to y'all, but y'all going to have to show some love and support. Throw that link in there for the debate with Captain Tazoriak and uh, Chris Harris, y'all. Y'all need to start getting it now. This is going to be one y'all don't want to miss. And then we got Shock Up most coming up with Captain Tazoriak. We've been trying to get that shit done for like damn near six, seven years. All right? And so Black Jesus... You got the floor, brother. On my camera, not when you say so, but when I feel ready to do that. Oh man, you are now, drama I, I queen. I will turn man. it on so that, but not right now. Just to show to teach this La thing. lack of professionalism bro, on quiet, his part. Bro. He's a square. Bro, okay, you you can't be quiet, can you, bro? All right, Cap, let him go. Let him go, Cap. All right. Now, uh, brother Tazarek, just like you said, listening is an art, brother. I told you, bro, that I'm not going to give you no pre-information uh, uh, about my uh, my information on the topic that we might debate on in regards to hell. I'm not going to give you no information, bro. Okay? Now, I, I, I'm using another example to show you how dumb you are and how dumb your leaders are, Yohanna, and my hymen, and you need to call them while you got time while I'm talking. You need to call them right now and tell them to tune in and to come sit right oh, here man. at the brother. Feet of you Black got Jesus. captain in front of your face, man. And you keep talking about other people, bro. Man. Bro, bro, excuse me. This uh, uh uh let me say this real quick, son. Uh I'm gonna now show you, brother, uh about the topic that I will discuss, and that we're discussing as an example of the ignorance that your leaders have taught you. And I've already named it, so Sonetta is getting salty because I'm calling their name out, okay? As an example to show you how supremely dumb and ignorant you are in the word of God and how you all need to sit at my feet and acknowledge me as the bishop, bro, the global bishop. Now, brother, here's scripture number, because see, you did all that talking. And not one time did you refute this scripture right here. You didn't refute Genesis 3 and 20. You didn't refute, you didn't even touch it like you always do, like all of you one West hood boogers do. And Adam called his name, his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all the living. You didn't deal with all the living. 
you start doing a Hebrew hopscotch, running to running all the way to Revelations and a whole bunch of other books. They ain't got nothing to do with what's said right here. Now, here's another scripture to Zariah that I'm teaching you and your leadership and all of ISUPK all over the world. I am the bishop. I am the number one Israelite teacher on the planet, brother. And you're going to be humbled. You will one day capitulate to black Jesus minister, uh, to Zariac. Uh, Sonia, do you see my screen, bro? I just switched to another. Your screen is up, brother. Thank you very much. Brothers and sisters and all of ISUPK all over the world. Brothers and sisters and all of ISUPK all over the world. Brothers, please look at, uh, uh, Acts 17, Acts 17 to Zariac. I hope you're paying attention, bro. Acts 17, verse 26, and I'm gonna start at verse 25. What does it say? No, I'm gonna start at verse 24. And what does it say at verse 24? God that made the world and all things therein. See, we talk about creation now, we talk about creation. God at verse 24 that made the world and all things therein seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, verse 25, neither is worshiped with man's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he give it to all life, all life and breath and all things. Who had life and breath? The animals, all living things, and human beings. And what does this scripture tell us about the human beings that God created to Zariac? What did this scripture say in verse 26 about all the beings that God put breath in and God put life in, including all of man? What did God say to Zariac? Verse 26 to Zariac, and sit your big ass down, brother. You just need to capitulate, apologize, and, and, and tender your resignation, bro, and become my student, bro. 26 to Zariac, and hath made of one blood. Do you see one blood, nigga? Do you see one blood with your little slow ass? One West clown ass, nigga. Okay? 26, and hath made of one blood, not two bloods, three bloods, or a hundred bloods, or a thousand bloods to Zariac, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. So you mean to tell me, God, that you made all of mankind from one blood and that God, that Eve is the mother of all? Goddamn, Tazariac. This is too goddamn easy, bro. But you know, this is hard as hell. This is goddamn trigonometry to you dumbass one West Israelite. For men to dwell on all the face of the earth and had determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. Brother, do you see right here, brother, the term one blood, bro? Do you see that, Tazariac? Do you see that right there, Sarnetta? Do you see one blood, Sarnetta? Yes. That one blood is Adam, you slow ass nigga. All of you one West dummy ass Israelites. The reason why Tazariac and the dummy leaders tell you to hate Christians, don't believe in Christians, don't listen to the Christians, because we're going to teach you the goddamn truth and expose your leaders as a bunch of goddamn convicts and con men and con artists and liars. A real quick appointing announcement, real quick, Black Jesus. I need everybody to click the link to go on over to the HOK. Sarnetta Studios will be closing down for this one. Y'all can continue watching it live on the HOK. I'm throwing the link inside of the chat. There's the link. All you got to do is click it, and it's going to take you right over to that right away. So let's get on over there, y'all. I'm going to wait for a couple of minutes before I turn off Sarnetta Studios. Go ahead, Black Jesus. Thank you very much. Brothers and sisters, we see plainly here in Scripture because I worship God and not man. I worship God and the scriptures and obey the scriptures and not man like Tazariac does. He's going to continue to let his leaders make a fool out of him. He don't give a damn. 
and he's going to continue, and ISUPK and all one West Israelites are going to continue to make fools out of all of y'all because they don't care about you. They are lying to you and telling you to pay tithes while they're lying to you. God damn. We see here one blood has made all nations of one blood. Who's that one blood? Adam. Because God called Adam and Eve both Adam. And I showed you a second scripture right here to Zariah that Eve is the mother of all the living. And Adam called his wife Eve because she was the mother of all the living. Not some of the living, the, the living slow man. Not some, not a few, not the most. It says all, bruh. And that from one blood, from one blood, God made all nations of men to Zariah. Brother Tazariak, brother, I love you, brother, and I like you, brother. Now, I don't like you like that now. You, you might want me to, but I don't, bro. Now, brother, I'm asking you to straighten your ass up because I know you're smarter than all the leaders in your camp. You're smarter than Johanna and Tazariak, and you know you ain't buying that bullshit these niggas is giving to you. You're just going along with the goddamn get along, Tazariak. It's time for you to, to leave, brother. Start your organ, your own organization, brother, and come up under the leadership of Black Jesus Minister. And let me teach you and deprogram you from all the goddamn dummy nigger ass garbage that your leaders have taught you, bro. You can respond. Hey, unshare your screen, simple nigga. Put your face back on there. I'm going to tell y'all why he hit his screen. He hit his screen because I spiritually punched that nigga in the eye. He didn't want y'all to see him. Put your face back on the screen, nigga. That's how you, that's how you respect the game. And the big leagues, we don't hide our face because we don't got punched in the mouth by scriptures. You're going to 